Christina. We'll give a moment just to see if anybody else is going to join in and then we'll get started. For class today, I have two dumbbells, but it can be done with just one. All right, Christina, are you ready? Sure. Did you say something? I couldn't hear you at all. Yes, yes, I am. You're ready. Okay, well, let's get started with the warm up. Start jogging in place. So just loosen up. going. Just have to pump those arms a little bit. Awesome. Now let's go into jumping jacks. Five more. Awesome, now we'll go to high knees. Those knees hip height. Awesome, now switch to butt kickers. Opening up the front of the leg. Three, four, five, four, three, two, one. All right, make some space. You're gonna put one heel forward, bend into your opposite leg, sweep the arms overhead. You're trying to stretch the back of the leg now. That's it. And travel around the room with this. So now we'll balance, hold the ankle, squeeze it in, step forward, other side. Awesome. 
Awesome. Now, side lunge, side to side. That's it. Try to keep your hands off of your thigh and off of your knee. Hinge your hips back. So I'm not allowing the chest to just bow forward, but as if someone's pulling you by your hips, and that's how you get a little bit more depth in each leg. Nice adjustment. All right, now let's add some arms. Side lunge, reach up. Yes. So those hands come down. When you step out, they reach. Bring them back in. That's it. I give you two for the top shelf. Now we're gonna take a reverse lunge. Arms up, twist over that front leg. Bring those arms back up, step it together. Arms up, twist, keep it going. Yes, waking up that spine. Every time our arms go up, we feel a nice stretch all the way up through our hip flexors down to our knee. Awesome, now clear some space. You're going to walk it out. Push up, walk your hands back to your feet, stand it up, we'll go for five rounds. Keep it going. Good job. This is your last one. When you walk your hands back in, stand it up. We're gonna walk it out one last time. Pausing at the top of a push up. step your right foot forward to the outside of your right hand. Inhale, you're gonna sweep your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, twist, bring that right elbow to the inside. Look over to the left side. Inhale, twist again to the other side. Right hand down, right foot back, left foot to the outside of that left hand. Sink your hips forward and down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, look up at your left thumb. One more time on each side, left foot back, right foot forward. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, right elbow inside. Twist, other side. Awesome, now you're gonna hold your plank for 30 seconds, either forearms or on hands. Here we go, three, two, one. We'll hold it here. Nice plank, stay with it. You've got it, 10 seconds left. You can do it. Final five, four, three, two, one. Go right into a side plank. Choose a side. Get right into it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hold it here for 30 seconds. Good job. Halfway there, and then we'll go right into the next side. Three, two, one. Flip it on over. 30 seconds, let's go. Keep those hips nice and high. Like you're creating a rainbow and your hips are the top of the rainbow. Nice 
Hang on. Final five, four, three, two, one. All right, last thing before we end our warm up, just give me 10 body weight squats. Good job. All right, Christina, we're going to aim for three circuits today. We're going to have two one minute moves, two 30 second moves. The 30 second moves will be first, then the one minute. I said that backwards. So, starting with your first circuit, you're going to have split squat jump for 30 seconds, okay? Then you're going to have hip dips. So, coming onto your forearm, all right, finding that plate. You're going to drop one hip to the side, come back up, over to the other side. You're using your core here to lift your hips and create, oh, again, like a little semicircle rainbow of the hips as they drop from side to side. Your one minute move is going to be with one dumbbell. We're going to lunge forward, pass the dumbbell under, step it back. Other side. So we're just passing the dumbbell underneath the leg without tick tocking your knee. So your knee doesn't go back and forth. It stays nice and stable as you pass under. Okay. So that one's for one minute. Then your final one minute move in this circuit will be a Russian twist. Option to lift those feet up to amplify your Russian twist. With the Russian twist, we don't want to be up upright. You want to lean back so that you can feel your core light up instantly. All right, are you ready, Christina? 30 second split squat jumps. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. That's it. Almost there. Hold on for five, four, three, two, one. Release. All right, forearm side, side to side with those hips. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hip dips. Keep going. You're halfway there. Good job, Christina. Keep it up. Final three, two, one. Release. Whew. All right, we're going to grab that one weight. You're going to have one minute to slow it down, work on that four. We go in five, four, Three, two, one, let's go. So the more you bend into that front leg, the less you have to round in your shoulders. This reminds me of our basketball player. I'm going to pass the ball underneath their legs and they get all fancy. That's what we're doing with our dumbbell. Keep it up. Only 10 more seconds. Think for the next round, you can go a little heavier than that. Three, two, one, release. All right, Russian twist, getting down on the ground with that dumbbell. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, go. Good job leaning back, getting those toes up, yes.
halfway there. That's nice control. Good job getting that weight to that outer hip each and every time. Last 15 seconds of effort. Get those feet up a little higher. Yes. You're here for five, four, three, two, one. Release. All right, that was round one. We have round two. So back to your split squat jumps right into it. 30 seconds. Let's go in three, two, one, go. Good job. Keep it going. You're almost there. Last five, four, three, two, one. Release. All right. Time for plank hip dips. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go. Keep it up. 10 seconds. And release. All right, stand down up, grab a heavier dumbbell. So even if you'll go up three, five pounds, any type of progress is progress. Here we go. Three. Two, one, go, one minute. Get nice and low in those legs. So back knee goes straight down, just barely hovering off of that floor. So as you can see, the four moves are complementary. Your first two, Kind of prime the body for the weighted exercises that we do next. We're halfway there with this one. Good job. Get a little lower in those legs. Almost there. You're here for five, four, Three, two, one, released. All right, Russian twist. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. This is one of my favorite core exercises. Unfortunately, I can't really do it myself. But I love giving it to my students. So you're feeling the burn for me, Christina. 30 more seconds. Nice balance. Wobbles are okay. Ten seconds. Hang on, hang on. Final five, four, three, two, one. Release. All right, we move on. For your next circuit, you're gonna have elevated push ups. So grab a platform. You can use the bench in the back. But all you're going to do is let me turn the camera so you can face me. You're gonna elevate your feet, come into that perfect plank, right? Once your chest is in line with your hands, you lower down, come on up, right? You lower as far as you can go where you can control it and still come up with a neutral spine, meaning your spine doesn't curve in either direction. It stays nice and straight for the whole movement. It's only 30 seconds. I know elevating the feet really amplifies that, but that's what we're here for. 
to get stronger. Your second move is gonna be in and out squat jumps. You're welcome to have a dumbbell here, maybe like a really light dumbbell, but you're just going to go in and out. That's how you're doing for 30 seconds. Your third move, you're gonna have a weighted overhead press. So you can have one dumbbell or two, okay? You have the option to float those feet up just like your Russian twist. So you're working your core while you work your upper body. Your second move, you're gonna have a rotational squat. So from here, we're not jumping, we're just turning and squatting, staying nice and low. And you reverse how you pivot. Okay, those are your four exercises. So starting with those elevated push-ups, elevate those feet, 30 seconds. We start in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Keep it up, Christina. Final five, four, three, two, one. Release. Oh, those are intense. Grab a weight. In and out squat jumps in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. That's it. Don't let that chest collapse. Use your core to keep your chest higher than your hips. Yes, good job. 10 more seconds. Almost there. And release. All right, grab two weights or one. You're gonna have your seated overhead press. Option to lift those pillows. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, go. Nice toes, yes, they're lifted, good job. You're halfway there. Just breathe. Big belly button to spine. Keep your gaze up so that way when you press your hands forward, you don't stick your neck forward. Almost there. And release. All right, one weight or two weight, you have your rotational squats, 180 squats. You start back up in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good job. Yes. This could also be done with a band to amplify. A little extra spice in those legs. Almost there. Final five, four, three, two, one. Release. All right, round two. Let's elevate those feet. Let's 
couch, my platform. We go in five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds. Let's go. Try not to arch that back. You're almost there. And release. All right, in and out, squat jumps. Grab that weight. We go in five, four, three, two, one, go. Keep that chest up. Sitting those hips down and back into your invisible chair. For five, four, three, two, one. Release. All right, overhead press. One weight or two weights. We go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. It. Keep going. We're about halfway there. Yes. I know those shoulders still feel activated from those elevated feet push ups. That's what we're here for to put in that work. Keep going. You're here, four, five, four, three, two, one. Stand it on up. Good job. Go for those two weights. Maybe hold them in the middle together for your rotational squat jumps in three, two, one, go. Halfway there. Try not to lock your knees up at the top. Keep a soft bend, but squeeze those glutes. Almost there. Yes. 10 more seconds, keep going. and release all right we're going to go into our last circuit for this one everything is going to be one minute i'm gonna get a drink of water myself so this one you're going to have again two dumbbells or one you're going to give me a single leg deadlift pause row standing on up, working that same leg, all right? Things to note, with your single leg RDL, I like to flex my back foot so that my toes are facing down. This keeps my hips nice and square. If my foot is just hanging out, I end up not focusing as much and that hip opens up. We wanna make sure that our hips are square. If we have tight hamstrings, sometimes it doesn't allow us to stay square and our hips want to naturally open up. So put a soft bend or a deep bend, however you need in that standing leg so that you can keep that leg nice, those hips square, all right? Row, squeeze it on up. We also don't want to reach down with our back, with our foot down here. No, no, no. The only reason that we 
fold forward is because of the natural hinge that happens in our hips. So we're never reaching for the floor and rowing. So we'll stay on one side, then we'll stay on the same leg. So we're gonna keep working that left leg. We're gonna do that by laying down. That same leg that was just standing to do the RDL is going to elevate and you're gonna have a single leg hip thrust, okay? Then we'll stand it up, do the RDLs on the second side and the single leg elevated foot hip thrust on the other side. That was a mouthful. All right, Christina, don't worry if you've lost. I will guide you through it. We're gonna start. Let's do left leg standing. The right leg is going to go back, all right? One minute to perfect that form and work into that leg. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Don't forget your row at the bottom. So single leg, pause, row, come on up. Sweep the leg back, nice hinge here. Drive into that foot as you stand it on up. Just be feeling a burn in the left hamstrings and glutes. So you wanna row all the way. So extend your arms back out and then stand up. Yeah, break the movement apart. So hinge, pause, row, pause, and then come up. 10 more seconds. Yes, anytime we do single arm or single leg, anything, it forces us to balance. Release. All right, same left leg. You're gonna elevate that foot, single leg hip thrust. Here we go in three, two, one, go. So drive through that heel, lift the hips up nice and high. Even here, I want you to think of keeping your ribs engaged. So suck in your ribs, tuck your hips under so that you feel that engagement on the way up and on the way down. You don't let that burn go. You have 30 more seconds, you can do it. Now I can't really see your form, but it looks like you might be a little bit too close to your platform. So scooch it on back, there you go. You don't want your knee going past your hip. Last 10 seconds. You got it, you got it. For five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job, Christina, let's hand it up. Stand it on up, we'll do the second side. Grab those weights. So now right leg stands, left leg goes back with the RDLs. We go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Same thing, flex that left foot so that your toes are facing down the whole time. Find your hinge first, then find your row, squeezing those triceps back. Elbows grazed by your sides. Complete the row, then stand up. Yes, that's it. Good job. It's okay if you're starting to feel a little bit of shakes around your ankle. That means you're building more strength and stability around that ankle. Hinge, 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 letting the hinge initiate the movement, not reaching for the floor and release. All right, right leg elevates now. Single leg hip thrust. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Right foot is elevated. You're thrusting those hips up and down. Drive into that right heel. Find that squeeze at the top. Then don't let it go. Keep your ribs drawn in. Don't let those ribs flare out. That's going to help 
Keep your back safe and your core engaged. Now I want you to think of tucking your chin in just a little bit. Yes. Good job, 15 more seconds. Don't pause at the bottom for too long. The moment those hips touch, they go right back up. And release. All right, that was round one. We have a second round, final round, to work on those RDLs and that booty, all right? Maybe this time you go up and wait. All right, we start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. We're back to that starting left leg. Balancing with our left, right leg sweeps back. Row, don't forget the row. Try to keep, yes, nice, nice hinge, that's it. We'll be out of this in no time. Keep that focus. And release. All right, to the platform. Elevate that left leg. You go in five. Four, three, two, one, let's go. It burns more the second round, I know, but keep it up, you're halfway there. Keep it up, 10 more seconds. You keep that right foot straight in the air. It doesn't have to dip down. Just keep pumping those hips up and down. And release. All right, other side, stand it on up. We go in five, four, three, two, one. Working the right leg now, left leg sweeps back. Point those left toes down. Nice concentration. Keep those elbows close to the midline. Don't let them fan out. So they sweep the body every time you row. Don't let those shoulders roll forward. Nice adjustment, good job. And release, all right, back to our platform. Last round in five. Four, three, two, one, go. Almost there, last 30 seconds. That's it, keep that left leg nice and high. Don't let that foot rock. Just keep getting those hips up, 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 up. 
So Christina, you're bringing that leg down. I want you to keep it straight up to the sky. That's it. Last 10 seconds of effort. Let that booty burn. You're almost there. Final five, four, three, two, one. Release. Good job. All right, for our finisher, you're going to have 20 burpees. Instead of jumping at the top, I want you to do a little starfish jump. So legs go out, okay? 20 burpees. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. So when you come up, out. That's it. We started class with our heart rate nice and high. We're going to end it with our heart rate nice and high. Putting all that work together now with these burpees. And crushing it, Christina, keep it up. Get lost in that rhythm that you're creating. Don't overthink it. Almost there. Final push. Can you spread those feet apart a little bit more? Woo! Good job. All right. 30 seconds. You're going to give me some mountain climbers. I want you to cross the body, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one. 30 seconds. Go. Mountain climbers. Get those knees a little higher. Yes, now bring that butt down a little bit more. Yes, you want those hips nice and steady, shoulder height. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one. The last exercise is for our core finisher. You're gonna have side plank. We're just going to dip the hips on one side for 30 seconds and then the other. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Keep it up. Almost there. Last five, four, three, two, one. Other side. We go in five, four, three, two, one. It really starts to burn like midway through. You really feel the whole side body just light up. Stay with it. You're almost there. Final five, four, three, two, one. Release. Woohoo! Little clap. That was fantastic. Let's cool it down. Definitely want to get you nice and stretched before we leave. So let's start with my favorite forward lunges. Let your right foot forward, left knee down. Stack your hips first, grab your hands to your hips. All right, now sink your hips forward and down. Yes. Keep that weight off of that knee, good job. Inhale, sweep your left arm up towards the sky. Get nice and tall in the spine, exhale, side stretch. That's it, breathe here. Now from here. We're gonna sweep that left arm across the body. We're gonna do a side lunge, left side. 
side lunge, side lunge on the left. So your hips are facing, yes, there you go, good job. Now bring your left fingertips down, right fingertips up towards the sky. Yeah, you look up at that right hand. There you go, now walk your fingertips back to that right leg, low lunge. Now straighten out that right leg, forward fold over your right leg. Nice and slow here. Awesome, now put some weight back in that front foot, that right foot, lift the left knee off from the ground, hop switch your feet, left foot forward, right knee back, bring your hands to your hips. We start with our hips stacked over our knee, yes, that's it. Now sink your hips forward and down. Get them nice and square. Inhale, sweep your right arm up. Exhale, side stretch. Keep that left knee in the same direction as your left big toe. Another complete breath here. Now we sweep across, low lunge on the right side. This time we're gonna have right fingertips down, left fingertips up. Awesome, walk those hands back around. Now straighten out that left leg, forward fold. You should be on the second side. Awesome, now you're going to Press into your hands, step it back into the downward facing dog. So we're doing this upside down V where your hands press into the floor or your mat. Lift your hips up and back and lift your heels down. Now step your right knee to your right hand and then scooch your left leg back. So you're gonna stretch out that right outer hip. And then when you're ready, come on down to your elbows. Good job, Christina. I never know who does yoga and who doesn't, but if you do yoga, this is called your half pigeon pose. But if I cue this as half pigeon, most people don't know it. <laughs> but you have wonderful body awareness. If you wanna take this a little bit deeper, you can bring your chest down to the floor. Breathe nice and slow. Awesome, now walk those hands back underneath of you. We'll press back into our downward facing dog. We'll go the other side, bring your left knee towards your left hand, scooch that right leg back. I like to bring my shoulders over my hips or past them, a little back bend, and then come on down to my elbows. And as you feel comfortable, bringing that chest all the way down. Now, if your thoughts are racing and you're really uncomfortable, just bring your attention back to your breath. Giving your mind a chance to catch up to what the body is doing and giving it full permission to relax here. Last complete breath. Now press back to your downward facing dog. Then walk your feet to your hands, both forward fold. Press opposite elbows here. Let your head hang heavy. Do a little sway side to side, relieving any tension in the lower back. With a soft bend in your knees, roll up one vertebrae to stand. Head is the last to come up. Good job, Christina. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you. I guess next week. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Bye.